What is up my friends, it's Ray back here and today I'm gonna be comparing the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 to the DJI Osmo Action 4. These are two of DJI's latest cameras that deliver impressive results and you may recall I recently traveled around with and reviewed both of these cameras individually. Both the Pocket 3 and the Action 4 are great at what they do and they would be an awesome addition to anyone's kit. However, deciding which one to get between the two isn't easy, which is why I wanted to do this comparison. So so let's not waste any more time and get right into this. Okay, so the first major difference between the two is of course the design. The Pocket 3 is a small gimbal stabilizer, whereas the Action 4 is more along the lines of a traditional action camera like a GoPro. This should kind of help you decide right off the bat which camera better suits you. The Pocket 3 is a camera that you have to be careful with given its design. The camera is solid and well built, but it's the gimbal that you have to be overprotective of. The Action 4, however, is the complete opposite. It can be dropped to a degree, submerged underwater, you know, the whole nine yards. It's a rugged little camera that's ripe and ready for adventure. I will say, the Action 4 isn't an exciting camera design-wise, but I do really like its ability to be magnetically mounted horizontally or vertically in a snap. It is ultra convenient. Design aside, both cameras have a sleek, easy-to-use menu system and a responsive touchscreen for easily changing settings. They're both also great for previewing the footage that you shot. Out of the two, I will say the Pocket 3 is the more fun camera to use. Its unique form factor is incredibly cool and allows for some amazing possibilities when you're out and about. Things like doing random time lapses and motion lapses are a breeze with this little thing, and you can angle it any way that you want without a tripod or additional gear. This leads me into the next part of this comparison, image quality. Which of these two cameras captures better footage? Well, I think the answer to that is going to be subjective, but if I'm going to be honest, the Pocket 3 wins. When I looked back at the footage that I shot with this camera, I was blown away. It looks so, so good. The large one inch sensor that the Pocket 3 has makes it better in a variety of different lighting conditions. It also helps create beautiful natural bokeh in your footage. For cinematic shots and travel videos, the Pocket 3 is hands down the camera to get. However, again, it's not rugged, so if you're planning to go underwater or do action-packed things, the Action 4 is the better option, and it is no slouch either. The footage is impressive too, and it has many of the same options found on the Pocket 3. The good news is that both these cameras have that 10-bit D-Log M color option, so if you have both of these or one of DJI's drones, color grading and matching up your footage from one of these cameras is going to be a breeze. For the next part of this comparison, let's talk audio quality. As you're hearing right now, both the Pocket 3 and the Action 4 have solid built-in microphones. They sound really, really good. I think most people are going to be satisfied with the results that you get out of them. However, if you are going to be primarily vlogging, I will give the slight edge to the Pocket 3. As you're hearing, there's a lot of wind, there's leaves flying, there are airplanes flying here in New Jersey, but the Pocket 3 does a really good job focusing on my voice in comparison to everything else going on around me. The Action 4 is no slouch either, and you do get the option to use external microphones with the Action 4. What's neat is that you can pair the Pocket 3 with a little DJI Mic 2 transmitter and clip it right onto your shirt, and you can pair that wirelessly directly with the camera, and I think that's really cool. Regardless though, you are getting solid built-in microphones in both these cameras. And lastly, let's talk battery life. Both these cameras have really good battery life. You'll get about 150 minutes out of the Action 4 and 135 minutes out of the Pocket 3. You'll get a little bit more runtime out of the Action 4 than you will the Pocket 3. The big advantage is that the Action 4 uses removable batteries, whereas the Pocket 3 does not. Sure, you can get a battery handle or use an external battery with the Pocket 3, but you can't beat swapping out the battery when you need to. It's quite a big advantage. Another thing worth mentioning is that the Pocket 3 gets warm when you use it and the Action 4 doesn't. I never had the Pocket 3 overheat on me, but it does get warm when filming extensively. Meanwhile, the Action 4 runs as cool as a cucumber. 
To start wrapping this up, as you've been seeing throughout this video, both of these cameras are pretty incredible at what they do. They each have their own sets of ups and downs, so deciding on one between the two isn't the easiest thing to do. Like I said earlier though, if you don't have plans to do anything rugged or crazy, I would go with the Pocket 3. The image quality is simply outstanding with that nice natural bokeh. It looks like a much more expensive camera produced this footage, but you do have to be careful with the camera itself. On the flip side, if you'll be living life on the edge and you find yourself in situations where the camera can possibly take a tumble, the Action 4 is going to be for you. You're still going to get excellent results out of it. Either way you decide to go though, you are going to get an amazing little camera to capture the moments that matter. And that's what's most important at the end of the day. So that's about all that I got for this video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, you know the drill. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow Average Drastis on Twitter or X and Instagram for so much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace!